Dangerous chimney fires can occur when two byproducts of the normal wood burning process, soot and creosote, have built to unsafe levels on the walls and firebox of your fireplace or stove chimney. Soot is a combustible brown or black powder-like deposit with a soft texture that can coat the walls of a firebox and chimney. Soot primarily consists of unburned carbon particles, which can catch on fire if it is allowed to accumulate for a long period of time. Creosote is a highly flammable, initially curly or flaky deposit that is a byproduct of incomplete combustion. It can progress into a soft, gummy second stage and a more dangerous, tarry, shiny, glazed third stage. If you believe you have third stage creosote buildup, discontinue use of your appliance immediately and contact a professional chimney sweep. Three factors influence the amount of soot and creosote that are produced when you use your wood burning stove or fireplace. The type of wood you use, the burn temperature, and how often you use your stove or fireplace. First, the type of wood you use has a significant influence on soot and creosote buildup. There are three types of wood typically used in wood burning fireplaces and stoves, hardwoods, soft hardwoods, and softwoods. Hardwoods are dry, dense woods that typically burn at higher temperatures and thus leave behind very little soot and creosote. Hardwoods include oak, ash, beech, hickory, and others. Soft hardwoods may contain some oils and resins that can leave behind some soot and creosote. They typically burn at mid-temperature ranges and include elm, red maple, Douglas fir, birch, and others. Softwoods such as pine, cedar, poplar, balsam fir, and others tend to be more porous woods with oils and resins, leaving behind both soot and creosote that coat the firebox and walls of a fireplace or stove. They typically burn at much lower temperatures. To prevent the buildup of soot and creosote between annual inspections by a certified chimney sweep, Rutland recommends using our soot and creosote removers as an easy and simple part of your wood burning routine. Here's how it works. Simply toss a convenient Rutland creosote or soot remover tube or canister onto a fire with a bed of hot coals. Your hands never touch the powder and the tube or canister will burn safely to ash. Or add one to two scoops of loose powder from our handy one or two pound economical tubs onto a fire with a bed of hot coals. Following this routine maintenance, soot and creosote will safely burn into ash that can be easily brushed out of the firebox. The frequency that you should use our soot and creosote removers depends on the type of wood you use and the temperature of your fires. If you use your stove or fireplace daily during the burn season, Rutland recommends using our soot and creosote removers one time each week if you burn hardwoods, two to three times each week if you burn soft hardwoods, or six to seven times each week if you burn softwoods. Rutland soot and creosote removers are safe for use in all chimneys and wood burning appliances and will not damage catalytic converters. Our handy Rutland burn indicator also will easily keep track of your fire temperatures. Choose Rutland products to keep your stove or fireplace operating safely and at peak efficiency. Visit rutland.com to learn more or to find a retailer near you.